Okay. Welcome everyone to the December 9th Capitola City Council meeting. Before we get started, uh, Chloe, would you like to say a few words? Thank you, Mayor Brooks. Welcome to the Capitola City Council meeting. In accordance with California Senate Bill 361, this meeting is not physically open to the public. Council and staff are meeting via Zoom, and there are several ways for the public to watch and participate. Information on how to join the meeting using the Zoom application or your landline or mobile phone, along with how to submit public comment during the meeting tonight, is available on our website, cityofcapitola.org, and on the published meeting agenda. The public can also live stream the meeting either on our city website or on YouTube. As always, this meeting is Cablecast Live on Charter Communications Cable TV Channel 8 and is being recorded to be rebroadcast on the following Wednesday at 8 a.m. and on Saturday following the first rebroadcast at 1 p.m. on Charter Channel 71 and Comcast Channel 25. This evening, our technician is Walter. Thank you, Walter, and thank you, Mayor Brooks. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you, Walter. If you can all please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. We're now going to move on to item two. This is a report out on closed session. Good evening, Mayor and Council Members. We had a closed session on the item on the agenda and no action was taken. Thank you, Samantha. For item three, additional materials. Staff, do we have any additional materials this evening? Yes, Mayor Brooks. Uh, there was one additional material submitted by staff regarding item 8B. That is the bid report and the memo um, for the road repair project. Thank you. Thank you. And item four on tonight's agenda, additions and deletions to agenda. Staff has no changes. Thank you very much. So moving right along to item five, oral communications. This is um, the time for members of the public to address council on any consent items or items not on tonight's agenda. Um, if you've called in, you can go ahead and click down below and raise your hand or dial star nine or six to unmute yourself. Larry, do we have anyone with their hands raised? Yes, Mayor Brooks, we do have one. Um, we have Tom Brady. Hi, how are you doing this evening? Great, thank you. Can you guys hear me? Okay. We can hear you. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, I was uh, invited by Yvette. Um, I'm with a company called RPM Training. Um, and uh, we just wanted to um, give the good news that our organization, we're, we do an annual fundraiser and one of our designations is going to go to um, the Capital Junior Cards Scholarship Fund. Um, we're going to be donating $10,000 for the upcoming um, program for 2022. And um, we do this through an, uh, a fundraiser we do every January called the 10K Challenge, where we challenge people to uh, do 10,000 double unders, which is a jump rope term, um, doing uh, two rotations of the rope underneath your feet every jump. Um, last year we raised $130,000 and we had 28 million jumps. So um, it's something that we're doing. We have, um, three designated organizations, charitable organizations. Um, we have done this for eight years, this is our eighth annual. Um, and we usually, we always designate um, at-risk youth mentoring programs that are um, directed towards fitness. So we just opened our offices in Santa Cruz over on 17th and Brommer and wanted to do something that was connected with um, Santa Cruz and, and Live Oak and Capitola. So, um, and my kids both were part of the guards. So we wanted to do something for the local group as well. And so um, we have uh, two national organizations and then the Capitola Junior Guards Program is our, our kind of local designation. So um, we are looking for ways to get the word out. So um, if you can get to Yvette and Yvette can get to me um, ideas 
uh, but we do want to get the, the community excited about it and involved in it. Um, it's the, the way people donate is actually the registration is just $20 to register, and that is the donation. All proceeds go to um, the, the charitable uh, funding. So, um, so it's, all, it's all donations that go directly to that. So um, people just register and they jump. There are also teams. So if the Capitol Police Department or the local fire want to do it as a team and do that that way, they can also do it as a team. You can sign up as a team. If our, our fire capital or city council wants to do it as a team, they could do that as well. Um, so you don't have to do all 10,000 yourself. You can also do singles. You don't have to do doubles. Um, so so there's, there's that as well. Um, but uh, the company started with the jump rope. We're, we're found in sort of CrossFit. We're all surfers and snowboarders, and we use functional training um, as a gateway to do the fun things we do in life. And that's how the company was founded. And we started building um, kind of the, the jump rope um, was the first equipment that we built. And that's when we started doing this, this uh, fundraiser right away. So it's a big initiative of the company. Any questions? So thank you so much, Mr. Brady. Um, unfortunately, at this time, we can't, uh, we can't entertain any questions. But I know that you said folks can reach out to me. I'm going to also punt it a little bit to um, junior guards, uh, the junior guards rep, Tori Del Faro, um, who is, who's representing this organization. So thank you again, Mr. Brady, for your time. And we look forward to see what, um, what's going to come next. Great. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Okay, Council, we're now going to move on to item six. This is staff and uh, city council comments. Let's begin with staff. We have one this evening from Director Hurley. Thank Mayor and Council. I wanted to give you an update on our CDBG CB2 economic development grant. Um, as you'll recall, we were prepared to issue approximately 30 to 35 grants up to $7,500 to our local businesses for COVID relief um, tied to their rent. We had a lot of interest in our, pro in our um, program, but due to the federal requirements tied to low income qualifications, we, it's been very difficult qualifying businesses. So at this point, um, we've done our initial review of all the businesses, and we believe we have about 15 or 16 businesses that will qualify for this grant. I met with Mayor Brooks and Council Member Peterson this morning to discuss uh, the current situation that we're in. And it takes a lot of time going through the review of these applications. It's been a lot of work with our partner, SBDC, and, um, I was suggesting that we double the amount of the grant and, and the businesses that do qualify have a great need. So I was suggesting that we double the funding from 7,500 to $15,000. And that was accepted uh, by Mayor Brooks and Council Member Peterson as a good solution. And so I just wanted to let you know that we'll be proceeding um, with, with those grants um, throughout the till the end of the year and into January and hopefully getting that money out as soon as possible. That's my update this evening. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. Any other comments from staff? Okay, seeing none, uh, this is opportunity for city council comments. Any comments from our council? Council Member Peterson. Thank you. I just wanted to take a moment to again uh, update the council and the public on the process that's happening at AMBAG uh, in regard to determining the methodology for our arena allocation. Uh, we are going into the, the next arena cycle and it continues to be uh, quite a saga to determine uh, which cities will have how many different housing units that they need to be zoning for and, and prepared and, and allowing to be developed. Um, and so last night it, the issue was continued to the January meeting. Um, partially uh, in, in part because thanks uh, with a huge shout out to uh, Katie, our community development director, and Jamie, our city manager, um, for drafting a letter to AMBAG, um, just kind of letting them know of our concerns with some of the methodologies that they were using to determine the allocation. Um, thank you so much for all the work that you've, you've both put into that. 
Um, so we sent them that letter and I provided comments uh, to the same, same points that were in the letter at the meeting last night. And they are going to take into consideration some of the things that we brought forward uh, in regard to determining uh, the, the allocation that we should have in the methodology that they're using. So stay tuned, it continues, uh, there'll be more. And as I mentioned before, I'm just gonna keep bringing this up so that when we actually get our allocation and need to rezone to allow uh, higher density or taller buildings or whatever it may be that no one can say that, that this was a surprise. So again, that's kind of an update uh, for now. I'll have more to say about it in, in early January, but again, just huge thank you uh, to Katie. She was just such a rock star on this. Um, and, and that's all I have to say about it this evening. Thanks so much. Thank you, Council Member Peterson. Any other council comments? Okay, seeing none, we're gonna move on to item seven. This is consent items. All items listed on consent will be enacted by one motion. Um, there will be no separate discussion on these items unless the council member would like to pull one and we would address it at the end of this evening's agenda. Are there any council members who would like to make a motion to approve items 7A through F? I'll make a motion. I'll second. Um, the first from council member Bertrand and a second from council member Story to approve items 7A through F. May I have a roll call, please? Council member Bertrand. I approve. Council member Kaiser. Aye. Council member Peterson. Aye. Vice Mayor Story. Aye. Mayor Brooks. Aye. Thank you. All right, moving right along to item 8A. This is our council reorganization for 2022. Um, recommended actions, select and vote to approve a new mayor and vice mayor. Um, staff, do you have any a report or anything on this? Um, hi, Mayor Brooks, this is Chloe. I can just say that um, in our municipal code for the city of Capitola, it requires that council amongst yourselves choose a new mayor and vice mayor um, every year. Um, and then that is the time to do that is now. So <laughs> I'll leave it at that unless you have any questions. All right. All right, council, do we have any questions at this time? Okay, seeing none, we'll go ahead and move this to public comment. Do we have anyone from the public who would like to make a comment? Yes, we have someone that wishes to make a comment. Hello, I don't know if you can see me or hear me. We can hear you. Okay, this is Larry Brooks um, and Sedona Brooks. And we just want to take a quick minute just to say, uh, I'm just so proud of you, uh, Mayor Brooks. And uh, just wanted to say, it's really awesome everything you've done this year. And um, also just wanted to wish you a happy uh, 25th birthday today. <laughs> happy birthday. So um, yes, and thank you to all the city council members as well. And uh, we will see you guys around. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was adorable. <laughs> um, any other comments at this time? Uh, Brooks, I do not see anyone else with their hands raised on this item. Okay, well, I will bring this back to council for further comments. And um, before we head on into a vote, there was just a few words that I would like to share with everybody. Um, so just a quick story. The other night, the four mayors and I had um, the opportunity to be interviewed for a podcast, and there was a question on um, what do I consider to be my uh, biggest accomplishment this past year, and they went to all the other mayors, and they answered, and then they came to me, and they're like, oh, we, we already know, Mayor Brooks, you, we read your four, five-page article in the Sentinel. There's, you, you made it really clear to us what Capitola has done. And I was like, well, you know, I'm not one to be humble. But um, all joking aside, you know, the, the article reflected is that it, it really shared my deepest gratitude for all of you here tonight. It, had, um, it has really been a great honor serving as a mayor this past year. And well, I should say it's been one heck of a year 
um, in, in truth. So we have all been through so much things unimaginable. And yet, um, as I sit here before all of you, what I observe is resilience. And I'm really grateful for the commitment and dedication and hard work that you all have done. Um, I want to thank uh, my amazing family, Larry, who just called in, and my daughter, Sedona, who's watching, obviously, tonight. Uh, working from home and being your mayor and homeschooling was no easy task, and I could not have done it without uh, their support and patience. I'm so proud. My biggest accomplishment um, is truly of my daughter, Sedona, and being her mama. Uh, thank you to my fellow council members for supporting me and my ideas, and there were many. Uh, as we work to support all of our community members, partners, and the entire county. I'm so, so proud to sit side by side with each and every one of you. Thank you to our city manager, Jamie Goldstein, for uh, persevering this year and staying committed to our city and going above and beyond our expectations. We are really, really lucky to have you. Thank you to our city attorney, Samantha Zettler. You really are an asset to our organization, and I appreciate all that you've done for me and our city as well. Thank you to our department heads and staff. It is not said often enough that it is because of all of you that stuff gets done. Your day-to-day -day work is what makes our community great. And I'm deeply, deeply appreciative of, of everything you've done this past year. Congratulations again to Chief Deli. I've got it right. I'm saying it right. And our police department for your extraordinary job in keeping this community safe. You are all models for what good policing looks like, and I appreciate each and every one of you. And most importantly, thank you to our community members, residents, and partners. By working together and supporting one another is why we have been able to accomplish so much. And so as I finish my ter term with one more year as council member, I look forward to continuing to serve on your behalf. Thank you again, everyone. I really appreciate every one of you. Um, all right. Let's get to it. Council members, who would like to begin? Council Member Peterson. Thank you. Um, first, I just want to thank you for your service this year as, as mayor and, and all that you've accomplished. Congratulations. I think Larry was a couple years ahead because I thought today was your 21st birthday. so. I don't know, you might, might want to might wanna ask him about that, but happy <laughs> birthday. Uh, I hope today is a day of celebration for you, not only for your birthday, but for the year that you've spent in this leadership position on the council. Looking forward to uh, the years ahead uh, in, in your service to the community and working alongside you. Um, with that, I would also like to uh, make a motion for uh, the appointment of Vice Mayor Sam Story to mayor for the coming year in 2022. I'll second that. All right, so we have a first for um, for council, or Vice Mayor Story to move into the mayor position by Council Member Peterson and a second by Council Member Bertrand. We'll take this as a single motion um, before moving on to Vice Mayor. Uh, can I have a roll call, please? Yes, and I just, want to say I'm going to use everyone's current title for this roll call fair. vote. <laughs> Very fair. Council Member Bertrand. I approve. Council Member Kaiser. Aye. Council Member Peterson. Aye. Vice Mayor Story. Aye. Mayor Brooks. Aye. Congratulations, Mayor Story. If I may, just finish this one item, um, if that's all right with you. Please continue. All right. So we are now moving on to Vice Mayor. Council members, would anyone like to make a motion? Council Member Peterson. I would like to move uh, that Council Member Kaiser be appointed as Vice Mayor for the coming year. I approve. So we need a second on the table. Excuse me, I second. Wonderful. Thank you, Council Member Bertrand. So we have a first from Council Member Peterson and a second from Council Member Bertrand to nominate Council Member Kaiser as Vice Mayor. May I have a roll call, please? 
Yes. Council Member Bertrand. Approve. Council Member Brooks. Aye. Council Member Kaiser. Aye. Council Member Peterson. Aye. Mayor Story. Aye. Thank you. All right, I'm now gonna hand this meeting right on over to our new mayor of Capitola. Congratulations again, Mayor Story. Well, thank you so much, uh, Mayor Brooks. I'm gonna continue to call you Mayor Brooks because once you've been mayor, you're always mayor. Um, and I, I so much um, appreciate the council's um, confidence in me, nominating me, um, Councilman Peterson, for this uh, position. Um, I look very forward to serving uh, as mayor uh, and working with all of you, including working with um, Jamie, our city manager, uh, and Samantha, our city attorney, uh, Chief Daly, all the department heads, and all the staff in our wonderful city. Um, so I, I very much look forward to it. Um, and I look forward to 2022 as being uh, a, uh, a year of, of normalcy. Hopefully we will get through uh, this winter of potential COVID surge um, and we can look forward to uh, opening up um, and being back in chambers uh, sometime next year. Um, but I, I also want um, to say a few words um, about your reign as Mayor, um, Mayor Brooks. Um, you know, it's been my observation that you have the single uh, unique distinction of being the first and only mayor that has served the entire year um, through uh, COVID restrictions and having to function and lead us through this awkward technology of Zoom. Um, and I've been very impressed of your leadership um, in using that technology and how you brought forward and you've done it with humor and warm, um, a few bad jokes. Um, and, um, um, and you know, you've really, um, I think, set a high standard uh, for particularly myself and for all of us uh, on using this technology. Um, I'm going to... Uh, take your lead and gonna practice saying um, you're on mute council member. Um, so as you have reminded us, um, you know, many, many times. And in spite of that uh, challenge, um, you have had an amazingly productive and successful year um, as mayor. Um, and I know, and I'm not going to go through uh, all your accomplishments, but there were a few that I want to uh, acknowledge um, tonight um, that I, you know, considered significant and, uh, and not in any particular order, but the work that you did, the collaboration with the uh, Soquel Union Elementary School District and setting up the after school program uh, and the summer camps. Um, uh, and, um, you know, during the COVID, um, that was a tremendous uh, benefit to our families and children in Capitola. And I think you're to be commended on uh, spearheading that project. Um, you got us through the Coastal Commission, our zoning code, so that now we have a unified zoning code uh, throughout the city. Um, uh, you've maintained and ended uh, your reign with a surplus budget, uh, even through the, cha the fiscal challenges of COVID. Um, You've um, um, ushered in uh, the new era of uh, Chief Daly um, and um, saw us transition and guided us through that transition uh, from Chief McManus to uh, Chief Daly. Um, and during this whole time, you have kept Capitola in the public eye through your regular uh, submissions and newspaper articles as well as your uh, town hall meeting. So I just want to acknowledge 
a few of your accomplishments uh, there. There were certainly uh, many, many more. Um, I also want to acknowledge, um, and I think you would as well, that you could not have done that with uh, the collaboration um, from the other council members uh, and as well as um, uh, the staff at the city uh, of Capitola. So um, I think this is um, a well-deserved um, send-off for you. I won't say send-off because I have a feeling you have a bright political future uh, ahead of you. Um, but, um, you know, in closing, I just want to say happy birthday to you. Um, I won't try to guess at what age uh, you are. Um, but I would guess closer to 21 than to 25. But um, but um, happy birthday, um, and thank you so much. I have been um, so proud uh, to work with you closely in the past year um, and, um, and hope to continue to do so. Um, so with that, I think, that, do we have a little tribute for your service? Show us. Do you, do you mean this? I do mean that. Yes, <laughs> I believe I mean that. Yes. <laughs> well, let me see what's inside. You know, I'm in chambers right now, and no, I'm kidding. I'm oh. Not, but well, let's see. Let's see. It is the honorary gavel, gavel. of the mayor for the mayors. And Sam, I believe you have like three of these. And uh, well, I, I have, uh, <laughs> yeah, I have different generations of those. And so, it's really beautiful. Uh, I will be honest. My daughter saw this and started using it, <laughs> and Jamie <laughs> was like, "No, don't do that." So it is beautiful. Thank you so much. This is really, this is really something special, and I'm so so grateful for for your kind words. Mayor story oh, and congratulations and, to Vice Mayor Kaiser as well. Yeah, and um, sorry that we could not give this to you in person there in Chambers, um, but um, uh, a little gift uh, as a memento of your year of service for the city of Capitola, and maybe Sedona can pound it and practice to be mayor someday in the future. So thank you. Um, any other comments from other council members? Yeah, Council. Well, I'm going to go to Vice Mayor Kaiser. Thank you. Uh, let me just say congratulations, Yvette. Um, I, I don't even know where to begin. As me coming on the scene as a total noob and COVID and everything, but your grace and your knowledge and professionalism helped me tenfold. And I've learned so much from you and you're super inspiring and I just thank you from the heart of the city and from females around and I just think you're paving a really great path and it, it, for your daughter and everything too. I just think it's been a really great year learning and, and experiencing uh, all the ins and outs of, <laughs> of local government <laughs> with you and the rest of council and of course the staff and can't wait to keep going on with you and, and everybody else. And thank you guys again too for um, uh, supporting me moving on into vice mayorship. And I look forward to a lot more, a lot more fun stuff with everybody. And congratulations, Yvette, and happy birthday. Cheers to 21. Council member Bertrand. Sam, you, excuse me, Sam, you missed your chance to say you're on mute. <laughs> I was, I was just about to say that, Jack. I was waiting for you to say it, and oh. then you didn't. And um, so Yvette walks past my house probably many times a week, and we say hello, and she waves hello, and I see her little kid and her husband and the last time I think you walked by you had parents with you or other family members so I'm not sure whom because I don't know them. but um, you know at some point 
I think the fruits of your labor will be borne out in ways that you don't expect. And that's why I was thinking about your daughter. Very cute little girl, I have to admit. And the way it's going to turn out, I think, for you, is she's going to find out about all the great things you've done for the city because people tell her. As she grows up, Jaron's junior guards, or she grows up and participates in a program after school, or maybe go to the family camp or something like that, all the different things that you've done, she'll find out about from her friends and from other people that she knows. And I think that's the best thing that you've accomplished this year. Everything for your daughter and family. Thank you, Jacques. Any other council members? Any, of the, any staff wish, oh, uh, Councilwoman Peterson. I already made my comments when I when I made the motion, so I'm not going to repeat everything. But I didn't want to, I didn't, you know, everyone else is saying something, so I didn't want to be left out. So I'll just say again, congratulations on on this year that you've had um, and all of your successes. Happy birthday uh, and welcoming congratulations to Mayor Story and Vice Mayor Kaiser. I know that you will both um, do wonderful things in the coming year as well. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, are there any staff that would like to um, say a few words? Thank you, Mayor Story. I'll keep it pretty brief. I do want to just thank um, outgoing Mayor Brooks for the wonderful work. It was really a pleasure working with you. Um, I really appreciated the opportunity that you presented or you pushed me at times. And, you know, I've been doing this job for a while, and I think that that's a really valuable thing um, at times to get out of our comfort zone and grow as individuals. And so professionally, I really thank you. Your dedication to the city is always obvious. Uh, and I want to thank the whole council for what I think was a remarkably successful year that we just made it through, given all the challenges we've all faced together. And looking ahead to 22, and under Mayor Story's leadership, another great year is ahead of us. So thank you all and happy holidays. Yeah, thank you, Jamie. You know, any other comments from staff? If I could, this is a little unorthodox for me to speak, Mayor Story, but if it's okay. Oh, yeah. Um, I think Mayor Brooks is a fantastic mayor and I've dealt with a lot of mayors and um, I just think your steady leadership, like, uh, Mayor Story said your warmth during council meetings. I think it's a tough thing to bring some humor and warmth to what have been some dark times in the last year. And you did it at every meeting with um, grace and charm. And it's been a real pleasure to serve the city in general, but certainly under your leadership. And so thank you for that. Um, I've been really impressed. And I'm looking forward to serving with you, Mayor Story. Thank you, Samantha. And thank you. Thank you for those words. Um, any, any other staff comment? Seeing, seeing none, um, I wanted to take this moment to also congratulate uh, Councilwoman Kaiser on um, you know becoming the vice mayor. Um, I certainly look forward to working with her, um, and um, you know as a team in the next year to fulfill our role. Uh, you know, as uh, mayor and vice mayor uh, of the city of Capitola. Um, and to close this phase, I, I also want to thank, um, you know, the residents of Capitola um, and, um, and in particular my family uh, for supporting me. Um, you know, that's what has made it possible for me to um, do this work. Um, and to uh, be able to uh, serve, you know, this community that I love so much. Um, but I just want to acknowledge uh, my three daughters, um, uh, Jesse and Jennifer and Ruby, um, and uh, my wife Helen, uh, for their ongoing support, um, you know, in, in the past and um, and especially coming up in 2022. So. Um, with that, I think I'll call now for uh, the next item. Um, 
which is um, under general government, which is item 8B, um, which is the receive a report on bids um, received for the 2021 road repair project and consider awarding a contract. Um, the recommended action is to receive the report on construction bid um, that came in um, just um, yesterday, Wednesday, December 8th, uh, for the road repair project uh, and consider award of a contract. Um, do we have a staff report? Yes, good evening, your story. I know you just finished the previous item, and I, but I know it's coming up, and I would just like to thank Mayor Brooks for her support for all the public works projects and programs that have been completed. Um, your efforts in getting those projects done, the library and the <clears throat> signal coordination project with Caltrans um, has been instrumental and I appreciate it very much, so thank you. And to Mayor Brooks and Vice Mayor Kaiser, I look forward to working with you over the next year. And with that, I would like to share my screen. And the item before you tonight is a update on the 2021 road repair project. As our story said, um, this is a project that uh, we opened bids yesterday. And so we are reporting on it. Typically we would report after we open bids and have all the items in there, but because of the timing, only one meeting in December, we opened bids yesterday and we're reporting tonight. So this project is the first phase of our road rehabilitation project. This project will dig out the worst and failed areas of sections of roadway on the selected streets. Some damaged curb and gutter that's been um, causing flooding problems on Diamond Street will also be repaired. Streets receiving the treatment are 42nd Avenue, Diamond Street, Ruby Court, Fanmar Way, Bay Avenue, and Capitola Road. There's um, sections of those roads, some are the entire length. The second phase of this project will actually apply a slurry seal and cape seal treatment over the top will be completed next spring. We are partnering with the County of Santa Cruz and joining with their larger projects um, so that we can all both get better pricing um, just based on the economy of scale of the project. Um, a little background, the council approved the plans and specifications for this project in, back in October. And the approved engineer's estimate at that time was $135,380. Eight bids were received yesterday, and the low bid was in the amount of $110,103.14 from Kim Corporation. The Kim Corporation is, operates out of Gilroy, but they have done a project with us. They completed the Bromer Street project uh, approximately a year ago. They did a great job on that, so we look forward to working with them on this project. For the city purchasing policy, uh, staff are actually authorized to award a contract uh, as long as it comes under the approved engineer's estimate. In this case, we are under the estimate. So there's no formal action required tonight. This is a report uh, that we put on the agenda just in case the bids did come in higher than our estimate. Um, the remaining $25,746 um, we intend to try and use on this project to increase the amount of areas that we dig out and repair the asphalt. We can always do more. As we know, we're operating under limited budgets to repair our streets. We can't dig them all up and replace them all at one time. So this project, we're removing the worst of the asphalt areas and coming back with the tape and slurry seal at a later date. Um, this, month, this project, uh, this additional work can be added to the project via change order approved by the city manager. So in adding to the project, staff's gonna focus on three streets that are in the project and kind of added a second project that, or another street that's right next to it. So we're gonna focus on Fanmar Way, which um, can always use a little more dig out. And we're gonna try and add Terrace Way. Terrace Way has about a 300 square foot area that is just, um, it needs to be replaced and we have the opportunity now to do it. About a $3,000 ad and we're uh, anticipating being able to do that and it'd be a great time to get it done. There's additional dig outs on Capitola Road that we can also do. And then there's some sidewalk repairs that we may try and add in um, on Diamond where we're replacing curb and gutter and maybe advantageous to take it time and, and do some sidewalk repairs there. So we're gonna focus the additional work on those four streets. So here's just some maps to 
orient you, make sure. So this is Bay Avenue from highway to Monterey. I realize that's probably the entire length of Bay Avenue. I didn't say that before. Um, and the green areas and the areas that we're gonna dig out, this area has actually been pretty good shape from um, Highway 1 to Oak, and Oak to Capitol Avenue is uh, in pretty, very poor shape. So we're gonna dig that out and replace it. And then there's some areas along the next block that have some sinking trenches and other areas. And we may add a small bit area here, but I don't anticipate very much. Fanmore Avenue is down here on the bottom of this map. Um, you can see the area where you intend to focus, and then we're probably going to expand up into this area, depending on how many square feet. Adjacent to San Mar is the area on Terrace. It's right at this corner that we're having some significant issues that probably that we would like to address. Looking at the next map, we have Ruby, 42nd, and Diamond, and there's areas all throughout here that we're going to be digging up and repairing, and then Capitol Road up here on the left. You can see that most of the areas are just um, right before 30th Avenue. Both of them are in the left-hand lane, the faster lane, where uh, we think it's actually tied to the irrigation overspray up from the medians that has caused degradation of the asphalt. So we're gonna dig those areas up. So as I said, there's no council action required tonight and that ends my report, but I'd be happy to answer any comments, answer any questions or if you have any comments, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Steve. Are there questions from council members? The, oh, yes, uh, Councilman uh, Bertrand. Oh, thank you, Mayor. Um, so I noticed, Steve, you're gonna be doing a bunch of work around uh, the intersection of Capitola Road and uh, Bay, and that's an area that's going to be, I think, dug up again. Any any way to leave it till then? Are you talking about <laughs> the, the, the roundabout project? Yeah, I mean, because... The roundabout project, truthfully, is several years away. We're still waiting for PG&E to figure out how to underground their utilities. Um, there's currently not, so there's no funding for the roundabout at this time. So a million dollar project, we're gonna put together a funding program. So conservatively, it's two years away. And I think the treatment we now are doing is very worthwhile in doing, and it's not that big of an expense of the area if you look how much we're going to remove of the current of what this proposed treatment is minimal. So I, I would recommend we keep going forward with it. Thank you. Any other, any other questions from council members? Hearing none, I will I'll bring it back to the council and see if there's uh, any uh, comments. There's no action uh, necessary from us. Well, and seeing none, um, um, thank you, Steve, for that excellent job on um, getting the bid you know, um, below the engineering estimate. It, 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 I don't know if you were concerned as I was about uh, whether how they would come in, um, um, but, um, but that, that's excellent news. Um, and I'm particularly pleased to see that we're finally able to do something on Fanmore. Um, <laughs> you know, that, that, that's a road that, um, that has uh, been on my radar for a long, long time. So. Uh, thank you for getting that included. Um, and so with that, I think it brings us to the next item, which is just a matter of adjournment. Um, but now this is our holiday break adjournment. Um, so um, we uh, won't be uh, coming back until 2022. Um, and I want to wish everyone a uh, happy holiday um, and, um, and you know, and so in, enjoy the break and the time off, uh, get recharged, and uh, we'll be back here in 2022. Uh, and so in closing, I'll just say um, uh, everyone to remember to be kind to yourself and to be kind to others. Thank you so much. Bye-bye, right. everyone. Happy holidays. Bye. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, you guys. Goodbye. <laughs>